Hello there, my name is Rick. Ciao, I'm Millie. And this is episode 20. 20. Of season three. Tre. Of Yonks Ago. <laughs> um, that's the introduction, done and dusted. Lock it in. Period. Season three, could it be? Dolly B, who is he? Just another bit of history that we're gonna get to know in a brand new little season of Yonks Ago. A father and a daughter putting on a show, finding out about people from Yonks Ago. Y O N K S Ago. Y O N K S Ago. Fact or fiction, we don't know. Y O N K S Ago. Uh, look, 20. Definitely not a prime number. Um, Unless no, there's no way we can twist maths. I've looked into it. I've I've paid some consultants to try to yeah. subvert the laws of mathematics because I thought, imagine if twenty it was a prime weird number. That it feels weird that five five fours are twenty to me. That doesn't sit well with you. It doesn't sit right. Five fours can get out. Well, we five. can't make twenty a prime number, but we can. Yeah. we can get rid of that as a legitimate equation. Like 10 times two, that makes sense. That fits. That fits. <laughs> 20 times one, that fits. Every day. I mean, that's not going to help you in your prime stakes. That could only reinforce it, your 20 times yeah. one. But 10 times two, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Number 20. Um, whereas <laughs> five times four or, five, or four times five, no longer a thing, sorry. That is, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> We've shown you the door. Uh, we've taken four to the door um, and five's going with it and they're not allowed back in. No. Uh, that's the that's the groundbreaking news for episode 20. You're welcome, world. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be causing a lot of trouble in the classrooms across the nation, across the globe, um, as teachers learn a valuable lesson about the new mathematics. Oh, look who's the new Pythagoras. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, that's a mantle that anyone would be happy to uh, assume. Yeah. Um, good luck. Good luck making yeah. the How the do new- we know that Pythagoras just made that stuff up? I don't know. Uh, I just accept it. Yeah. Hey, it's only a matter of time before we are doing a Yonks Ago episode about Pythagoras because yeah. he l- legitimately Yonks Ago. Yonkser than we've ever Yonksed yeah. before, that would be. <laughs> um, and look, I'd be, I'd be happy to go down the rabbit hole of Pythagoras' yeah, life. Yeah, I don't know anything about him. I know one thing. He's got a theory. Yeah. <laughs> theorem? Is he good? Yeah, theorem. He's got a theorem. What's, What's the, the difference? Oh, I, I thought for sure you would know, Millie. You're so yeah. good at that sort of stuff. No, I don't. Well, there's some homework for you. Maybe it's like a theory is just a theory, but a theorem has been proved. Ah, oh, a theorem is legit. A yeah. theory is just a wannabe theorem. Yeah. I'm so happy like they to... have a theory and you'd be like, oh, mm. not, I'm a bit sus of that. Yeah. But if they have a theorem, like everyone knows Pythagoras' theorem. Yeah. Like it's just a thing. Yeah. So if you come at me with a theory, no. come, not interested. Come back when it's a theorem Yeah. and we'll Maybe talk. Maybe it started as Pythagoras' theory. Yeah. And then they're like, no, nah, that, that checks out. It works every yeah. time. <laughs> it's, it's a zero failure theory. That makes it yeah. a theorem. Exactly. Uh, look, I think we might have cracked the code uh, and my inability uh, to be bothered <laughs> researching <laughs> it in any way means that that's, that is now fact. Lock yeah. it in. Uh, All right. Now, Donnie B. Uh, yeah. Where would Donnie be eh, without us? Um, we, when, we uh, left, <laughs> when we left him... <laughs> Um, he, you know, he was making inroads in the state squad. He'd finally made it to the New South Wales team yeah. with our man, Archie Jackson. Oh, yeah. And he burst out of the gates, as we as we well know, with his century on debut. As he should. Um, but I've got to say, all downhill from there. Yeah. Um, he, really, <laughs> he really did struggle from there on in, in the in this tour of the southern states. Yeah. Uh, with his only other notable effort, his fighting uh, defensive effort to stave off defeat. Uh, against Queensland, I think it was. Um, he only scored 13 runs, but it was hard fought and he um, everyone was duly but, impressed. Hey. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he's still waiting to, uh, to do a little better. And now it's time for all those teams that they took on in the Southern Tour, your South Australia, your Victoria, uh, 
It's yes. time for them to make their trip up to New South Wales for the return oh, match. So they get a home home game. It's the home and away season, baby. They yeah. played their away games down south. Now they they're coming up for the for the New South Wales home games. Yeah. Uh, so Donny B, he's already faced these foes. I think he's going to go better this time. They are not a mystery to him anymore. Um, yeah. And so he fronts up for his game against South Australia. Uh, South Australia, as you uh, might remember, although uh, it's hard to keep all these fine cricketers in your brain, I, I, I acknowledge. Yeah. Um, but it had Clary Grimmett, um, who we, oh, yeah, I we remember were Clarence. like your elegant gangster, your smiling assassin. Do we call him Clarence? Uh, we definitely do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's he's your uh, he's he's an, an elegant man, a gentle a gentleman, but he will snap your legs in half if you do yeah. it wrong. That's what yeah. we feel about Clary, Clarence. I mean, Grimmett. fair enough. Yeah. Um, and so that's your South Australia. Um, and so Donny B comes out to bat, and he's like, "If I can get on top of the uh, smiling assassin, I'll be all right." Yeah. Um, so he's quietly confident that this is where Donny B is going to make a name for himself. Okay. Out for two. Oh, what? Two. When does he do something? Caught and bold. <laughs> Caught and bold was Donny oh, B. Oh, that is my favourite way to get someone out. But not by not by the smiling assassin. It was Dr. Douglas McKay. They let the doctor, doctor? on the field. <laughs> Dr. <Yeah>. Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Dougie McKay. Um, he's tried to hoik him away. Didn't work out. Doug, Dougie McKay has said the doctor's in the house. Um Take two Panadol and head back to the pavilion because you're not batting anymore. <laughs> and so he's out for two. Uh, Damn, but that is come, not a great effort. But then come the second innings. Millie. Oh, here he comes. Hoo-hoo. 73 forceful runs. Forceful. Okay. okay. Uh, and this is, look, in the second innings, that's, that's pretty good. And if people are describing your innings as forceful. What does that mean? I feel like that has bad connotations. Oh look! If yeah, in some ways, but if you in in terms of an aggressive uh, that, innings at the is that at, good or like he had to like he he had to like really work hard to get it because like oh yeah I no I, no I would say if they were doing that they would say it was a forced innings okay uh they often describe that as a scratchy innings a scratchy okay. seventy three if scratch. you had to re- if you had to really work at it <laughs> yeah um but forceful feels like he was in control okay. the entire time. That makes sense. The ball sounded great coming off the bat. Um, and he was happy out there, fearlessly taking on uh, Clarence Grimmett once more. Yeah. Uh, but then it was, in fact, the smiling assassin who beat him with some flight in the end and had him caught in the outfield. Yeah. Uh, but look, this is this is a, a much better effort by our man Donnie B. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I understand... <laughs> If it's if it's not triple figures, it's more of a theory than a theorem, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I'd agree. It was a theory of batting, not a theorem of batting. Once you get to a hundred, <laughs> your bat, your, your innings theorem. just become a theorem. Yeah. Lock it in. <laughs> um, but I will say it's a very it's a well honed theory. Seventy three. Yeah. Nothing to sneeze about unless almost, you've got almost a theorem. Unless you've got hay fever. <laughs> what am I even talking about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, then comes the opening day of the final game, uh, the, the final game of the season yes. um, against Victoria. Uh, it's at the SCG, as we know, home mm-hmm. game, and it's attracted a record Sheffield Shield crowd. Oh damn! Of thirty thousand three hundred eighty-six. Sheesh! That's the biggest crowd that Bradman has ever played in front of. There you go. Out for seven, stumped. <laughs> hey, seven's a prime though. I know we do like seven, much better than going out for two. Yeah. <laughs> um, two is seven. also a prime, Dad. Sorry. But also, Donny B, out for seven, stumped. Come on, Yeah, Donnie. that's embarrassing. That's Come embarrassing. On, Donny B. <laughs> but second innings, Millie, 134 not out. Oh, sheesh. Oh, oh. But I will contextualise that. He was one of eight batters to score a ton in this match. So yeah. this wicket clearly was made for scoring triple figures. Yeah. Eight batsmen did also, it and Johnny B was one of them. The, where's the consistency? Oh, no, he's Seven up and, and down. 130, whatever. Yeah. That's not good enough. But look, so the 
what I will say is that this gives his season as a whole some very nice symmetry, very nice yeah. bookend. First innings, century. Then nothing, basically yeah. nothing until the last innings, century. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if, look, right. if you're looking for some bookending, he's nailed that. Mm-hmm. He should sell bookends. That should be his job now. Yeah. Be for bookends. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Um, and so now we're going to look at the averages. It brought this brought him. We're saying he hasn't done much uh, apart from his Johnny B for bookends. Uh, but yeah. his season, he was he averaged. He was second. He was ranked second in the averages for New South How? Wales. How? Yeah, I know because everyone <laughs> else is equally as poor. Yeah. Um, his average was 46.22. Um, I think perhaps, look, being not out always helps your averages and he was 134 yeah. not out. That's always yeah. a good idea. <laughs> um, so he's got some not outs in there, which helps your averages. He came second behind our man, the ax man, yeah. the kipper. Yeah, that he's, makes sense. His average, I mean, he flexed on averages. 80, 80.7 was his average. Nice. Uh, so Donnie B was nowhere near him average no. wise, <laughs> not even close. The kipper's like looking behind, can't even see him in the distance. <laughs> um, but has he done enough to say he should play for Australia? I've got to say not yet. No. Nah. Just nudging around. He's no Archie Jackson. <laughs> no. You've got to have an axe in your name if you want to play for Australia. You've got to be the kip axe. You've got to be yep. Archie Jackson. Yes. Why oh, that he, makes sense. Maybe he needs to go away, reinvent himself as Donnie Braxman. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie B for Braxman. He'd be straight in the team. Yeah. They wouldn't even they wouldn't even see if he was good. They'd just be like, oh, good What's name. It? Yeah. You, you're on the in. team. Yeah. <laughs> I quite like the name Donnie Braxman. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I mean, what can we do? How do we get into Australia? Millie Metherax. That's a kind of good name, actually. It's, it's got some, I know, I'm feeling that putting an axe in people's names yeah. does give it a certain... What are I don't you? Know. Rick Brax. <laughs> Rax Brown. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's better. That's better. Rax Brown and Millie Matherax playing for <laughs> Australia. <laughs> no one's ever seen him play, but they just had to be on the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I like where we're heading in this. Yeah. I mean, it's just a theory at the moment. Just <laughs> yeah, a theory. Just, just a theory. Just a theory. <laughs> just a theory. <laughs> But it's got theorem written all over oh, it. Oh, it does, it does. I, I don't know why they don't t- change them to theoraxes. That's a theorax <laughs> now. No, I think they have just now. Just <laughs> Yeah, just now they've done that. That's the, it's, you can skip theorem. If a theory is so good when you first hear it that you never even have to test yeah. it, it becomes a theorax. It's a theorax, period. <laughs> yeah, it does sound sense. a little bit like a thorax. Oh, uh, what can you do? Can't win them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, look, um, so what What they're saying is despite his ups and downs, which um, we we have clued in that his season was full of ups and downs, they're saying that Bradsman, Brad, Braxman's rise was... <laughs> I, can't, I can't call him Braxman yet till he's on the team. <laughs> no, no, Bradman's yeah, yeah. rise was unprecedented in cricketing history. Was it? Come on. Archie Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they reckon that no one good. had ever gone from playing competitive cricket for the first time in a country town at the age of 17 yeah. to being a test prospect just two years later. Okay. Um, he'd moved steadily up the ranks in just three seasons from his gargantuan scoring effort, efforts in Bayoral, yeah. um, where he's no longer allowed to play. <laughs> um, and then his impressive Sydney grade de- debut for St George. <laughs> To finally uh, cracking it to the state team where, you know, he had some success. Yeah. Uh, he did book, okay. Some bookended success. Yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, he's not ready, you would no. say, to play for um, to play for the country. Not but they are, they are saying, how good's he going? <laughs> like, not long now. <laughs> no. If he, keeps, if he keeps this up is what they're all saying. Yeah. Um, uh, and look... This basic, uh, you'd have to call uh, a theory at this stage. This theory <laughs> became became a theorem pretty much when they announced the Australian team that was going to tour New Zealand and Donny B was yeah. not included on that yeah. side. 
So the theory that he's not yet ready is now a theorem. Lock it in. Not ready, buddy. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So at the end of uh, the 1927-28 season, they announced the team and Donny B's like, damn it, but fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Because honestly, this is the step from state to country. It's always the hardest nut to crack. Yeah. Because it's it's just a smaller team. Yeah. I mean, there's state teams. All you can if you're not good enough to get on your um say you're in New South Wales, you're not good enough, you're not making the New South Wales team, just move to Tasmania. They'll take you. Yeah. <laughs> Happens all the time. Yeah. True. <laughs> so um, but you can't what, what can you do? You can't you can't move to um what, what smaller country are you gonna move to to try to get on the country team? It's hard to move yeah. country. Yeah. It's a, it's a real ask. Just got to work harder. Yeah. So now, but yeah. So, but, and he's, he feels like he's not that far off. Yeah. Maybe um, next year. Yeah. And the next year um, is when the English team the is Ashes. coming, is coming to the Australian shores. I don't know when the Ashes started, but was this, is this um, Ashes? Yeah. Oh yeah. Ashes. Yeah. Definitely Ashes. Yeah. yeah it started. When did the the Ashes age. start? 1890 oh. something, 1880 something, around that time. I can look okay. into it. I should know offhand. 1890 something, 1897 is ringing a bell in my mind. Uh, but, that's right then. That's mm, right. 1897. Yeah. Um, so it was around that time. So it's been going for a while, the Ashes. Um, and they're coming out to uh, Australia. They are the current Ashes holders. Yep. They've got Fair the enough. urn. Do we have a right now? Do we have the Ashes? question without notice millie um but you should know i know i know <laughs> i know um the fair question like surely you'd know <laughs> yeah i will definitely have uh watched with interest the last Ashes. i'm pretty sure we i'm pretty sure we have it i can't even remember look my as we know i can remember stuff but i am <laughs> ditching stuff out of my mind at a rapid rate these days fair um enough. Uh, especially if i'm surprised with a question as, okay. as I was my Sorry, brain just come, goes in, in come def- back next week dad come back next week and tell me <laughs> no but look the thing is this is the thing Millie I should would 100% be able to tell you if yeah. we have the ashes you know what I mean that's why I, I asked I, yeah. yeah I know you were well within your rights to believe <laughs> that this guy right here would be able to answer that question relatively easily and I'm not going to lie to you it's a bit upsetting to me right now. Oh, I'm sorry. That my brain is at the state in life where it no longer can access information that is definitely in there. Uh, but I'm unable to, the filing system's going askew, Millie. That's the p- part of my life that I'm in now. I can no Fair longer enough. easily. Yeah. Why is that? My, well, do you remember when the last ashes were? Well, this is the thing. I couldn't even tell you if it was our, if it was, uh, our home, if it was in Australia or England, I couldn't even tell you. What? Oh, look. Like, oh, I couldn't. Now, even. now I'm starting. To, now I'm starting to get there. The famous, obviously, the famous Ashes, recent Ashes um, series, where Steve Smith got, you know, smacked in the head. Yeah. By Joffrey Archer, uh, that they made that oh. series about, and we watched that series. That was in England, yeah? Yeah, and I feel like that was like, um, and well, that was just coming back from the ball tampering. I feel like that was 2015, yeah. the 2015 series. I've just looked it up. Do you want me to read um, what it says? But wait, wait. Okay. Did we have did we have a series in Australia after that? That's well, the question. Well, is it, what ashes is every, how many years between? So there must have been a, like a 2017-18 or 2016-17 series. Because yeah. the thing is, it goes, I can't remember. There's like a weird timing because it goes, there's a longer gap between one of the seasons. Um, but okay. let me, wait, 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 wait. I can, I can remember. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, God, it's, it's driving me nuts. Um, I think there was probably another season, another series in Australia. Am I correct? Uh, was, was there a series in Australia after two, the 2015? I don't know. Can I just read out what it says? Like the first thing that popped up? I said, I typed in who has the ashes right now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It is. Wait, I've got to try to lock in an answer. <laughs> we didn't. I don't think we won the series in England. 
So I think, oh, but I'm, I'm doubting myself now. Now I'm feeling like that famous series was like in 2019. Maybe that was the 2019 series. Oh, I'm, I'm torn. I, I think I, that I, I, Wait, wait. Okay. England has the ashes. Lock it in. Damn it. There Astra was another season Australia, in Australia. Australia are the current holders of the ashes. Um, after drawing the 2019 series. What? How oh. can you... When did you draw? Yeah. So we... Oh, that's what happened. We... We drew in England, so that so I was right. My final gut instinct, Millie, I've let myself down. I've oh, let you so down. it was in England, and yep. we drew it, but we had it before, so we retained yep, it. Yeah, that's what happened. Got it. Oh, got it, got it. look, I'm disappointed in myself. Um, I jumped around. <laughs> I didn't struggle. land on the right answer, but I did. I did at least towards the end realize that that famous series was in 2019. Yeah. I felt like we didn't win that series, but I should have known that we drew it because that's almost a win uh, yeah. in England. My brain's getting old and, and unreliable, it's okay. Millie. It's okay. Um, but look, at my, my steady mental decline begins here. Enjoy it. Um, keep testing me. I will, I will. Every now and then I'll just bring up a random question that you should know <laughs> the answer to and we'll yeah. see. Uh, yeah. Ready, look, Dad? Yep. I've just looked it up. Ready? A theorem is a result that can be proven to be true from a set of ax axioms? What is an axiom? Well, that's the, the, I guess they're like axes, but but they, then they become axioms. No, no, I don't know what an axiom is. You'd, you'd have to further, you'd have to oh, wait, even says, deeper. The term is used especially in mathematics where the axioms are those of mathematical logic and the systems in question. Uh, so I guess what the, the hypothesis, the- Yeah, so the, we were right. A theory can be, a theorem can be proven. A theory yeah. is a set of ideas used to explain why something is true. We were, we were pretty right. Yeah. Like, so like a theory is like proven and the theory just like, is like trying to explain why how, something is true. How's us? Uh, I think big brain. Yeah. You see so your brain is operating at peak, just about peak capacity these days, yeah. Millie. Whereas as we've proven, <laughs> I'm on the downward slide. As, we've, as, as, as our theorem has proven. Uh, yes. <laughs> This podcast is the theory in practice. It's the theory be become theorem before our yeah. very eyes. Yeah. Um, maybe this podcast is some sort of dark magic where you are slowly sucking my mental acumen oh. uh, out of my brain uh, and into your own. And I look, I've got to say, you're welcome to it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what's going on, can I'm not going to fight it. Can you give it all to me like right before my exams? Because then I'll be like fully big brain. Sure. Yeah, but will it be full of nonsense that will be no use to you? Do I need to drip feed uh, it you, to you? Can you? Yeah, can you filter it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to drip feed it to you so that you can reboot it a bit at a time, you yeah, know what I mean? Because yeah. I'll give you some bit of nonsense um, <laughs> in there and you'll need to clear that. You'll need to erase that nonsense yeah. and fill it with useful information. Yeah. That's so true. Yeah, you don't want the you don't you don't yeah. want this USB it's stick preloaded. You know what I mean? You, yeah, yeah, I get you. You got to slowly scrub it as we go. Um, perfect. Uh, oh, I forgot to check how long how long we've been going, but let's let's do a little bit more. I feel like we can yeah. squeeze we, a little bit do more. Donny B. In. We, can, we can do it. We can do it. We got um, distracted by the ashes. Because <laughs> uh, look, it's the start of the next season. Uh, Bradman's twenty now. He's made it to twenty years of age in episode twenty. Whoa. <gasps> 25 episode 20, perfect time. Mine. He's two times 10. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad we squeezed this little bit extra. Yeah. Um, and he decided now on a major move in his life, it's now or never. He's, Is he going to move out? He's going to move, relocate to Sydney permanently yeah. to give himself the best opportunity. With, with his girlfriend? Uh, well, I don't, What's her I, name? I forget. <laughs> Jesse. Oh, yeah, Jesse. Just Jesse. Jesse's Jessie. girl. Jesse McAdams, Jesse James. <laughs> Jesse James. Yeah, that's how. Get um, that alliteration in there. That was just a solid guess. First so thing it, came to my brain. I think it's Menzies. Jesse Menzies. Oh, yeah, that rings a Gen bell. Genzies. <laughs> uh, hashtag Gen Zs. Oh, my God, like Gen Z? Yeah. I guess we say Gen Z, so. Yeah, because we're not, we're not stupid. Yeah. Um, but look, the way my mind's deteriorating, I might be saying Gen Z before we know it. Well, it does... I, I understand Z because it rhymes in the alphabet, but that's that's all. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. There's a there there's a there's a theory behind it, but yeah. it will never be a theorem. 
No. <laughs> uh, so he's going to move to Sydney to play to play his Sheffield Shield. Look, there's look, there's only six games a season, uh, yeah. and they're only paid a little bit. Uh, the cricketers, it's not enough to live on. So oh, he's going yeah. to need to get a job. Fair enough. Uh, down there, uh, fortunately, his uh, barrel employee, Percy Westbrook. Oh yeah, Percy. Percy Westbrook represent. <laughs> He's decided to open a real estate office in Sydney. Oh, he would. Under the name of Deer and Westbrook Limited. <laughs> the real estate agent you can trust. Yeah. Um, uh, he's offered Bradman a job. Nice. Aww. Working out very well. Everything's coming up, Bradman. Yeah. Uh, basically doing the same thing that he does, same duties, which is essentially collecting rent off people oh, and true. showing clients properties. Nice. A bunch of people just had Donny B showing them around their place. Yeah. Just like, here's the laundry room. Here's, a, here's the water tank out the back. Guess what you can do with that? I've got some tips. Oh. <laughs> um, so imagine once Bradman hit a big, there'd be a bunch of people that'd be going, he looks familiar. Yeah. yeah. Something about that kid. Oh, got to go. Got to go rent a house. So this guy can. <laughs> uh, and Bradman found accommodation with the family of a country traveller with the family of a country traveller for a Sydney insu- insurance company. His name was G.H. Pierce. Um, Greg. What happened? Greg. Greg. Greggy yeah. Pierce. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Greggy Pierce, who visited Westbrook's office in Bowral many times and became friendly with the young cricketing clerk. So just, uh, just a bloke who showed yeah. up at the real estate from time to time, like yeah. the, the cut of Donny B's jib. <laughs> And said, look, if you need a place to stay while you're in Sydney, stop on by. Yeah. I'm hardly ever in town. My room <laughs> is just begging to be to be filled. Uh, so, Greggy Pierce, you've always got to be looking for opportunities. That's the lesson from that. Yeah. The, the weirdo that work, walks through your door <laughs> and have a chat, you know, <laughs> that could be the person who offers you a place to live when you need exactly. it. Exactly. Always be open to life's opportunities. <laughs> Talk to strangers. That's my advice okay. to any young aspiring people out there. <laughs> yeah. If some weirdo comes up for a chat, chat away. Yeah. Ask them if they've got a room to stay in. You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is solid life advice, yonky doodlers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go home with strangers is what I'm trying yeah. to say. Never not. Why wouldn't you? Never don't go home with strangers. Yeah. Look, we've, I think we've made the world a better place here today in episode 20. <laughs> uh, look, if anyone out there wants to test that theory of mine, uh, we'll see Do you it. in court because. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, none of the theories on, uh, none of the theories on Yonks to Go can be uh, held to account. Uh, none of the podcasters here believe in the theories that we print on here. Everything we say <laughs> is uh, just for comedy reasons. Uh, please don't uh, ever, don't ever test our theories in real world practices. Thank you and good night. Uh, I Great. think we should be right Thanks. now, yeah. Millie. That's think, good. Good. I good think disclaimer. we should be okay. <laughs> Um, and so look, he's moved down to Sydney. Now I think maybe that is where we shall lead it. He's oh, mi- just like you, Dad. Oh uh, yeah, me and Donny B. Yeah. Go and say hi. Yeah. Who knows where I would have been staying if I talked to more strangers. Yeah. Uh instead I'm just locked away in my hotel room like a loser. <laughs> um, but look, it's doing yeah, proud. And it's almost advice. over. Millie. Oh, this is the last podcast that will be zoom zoomed in my Sydney location. We will be back at it again in the kitchen, uh, henceforth. Why, are you coming back next week? Yeah. Oh, that's closer than I thought. Yeah, mate. Gee. Mate, I've got one more week of shows, Damn. and then it is all systems Melbourne. Hectic. Lock it Dick. in. Uh, yeah, I get back on my birthday. What a treat. Oh, nice! My B for birthday. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be it's going to be good times, and the Yonks Ago podcast regime can resume schedule. Um, hopefully, look, maybe being back in Melbourne will help my mental stability. Maybe, maybe, maybe. it's this weird life I'm living that makes all facts seem ethereal in my mind. I think so. That sounds about right. Ah, oh, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll never quite I'll never quite come to terms with the fact that I couldn't instantly tell you who 
had the yeah. ashes. And remember how I said, I think it's Australia. Mm. So I won. Oh, 100%. Yeah. When it comes to knowing things, you are the winner. Yeah. Nonstop. Because I feel like I remember. Like. Yeah. No, I celebrate I you. I celebrate I celebrate your, your wherewithal. Thanks. Uh, Big brain. Yeah. And I'm happy to continue to make it bigger as we go. <laughs> From my brain to yours, let's continue. <laughs> um, and so, look, you will get a little bit more of my brain in the next episode of... Yonks ago. Now that I feel dumber already. <laughs>